Hello. Evening. Hope you're good. Hope you've had a good day. Trying to drink more water at the moment. <laughs> I'm trying to like fill this up and make sure that at least a whole one of these is gone in one day. <laughs> so far so good. Hey Natasha. Hey Henrietta. Thanks for joining ladies. I'm only going to wait a little bit and then I'll crack on. What have you girls been up to today? Hey Bethan. I still cannot wait to see your beautiful face. It has been far too long. And I bet your face is proper brown too, isn't it? Hey Christina. Thanks for joining peeps. Hey Joanne. Hope you are well. Are you back to work yet, Laker? Hello. <laughs> Hello to you. So, this evening, I have come on to chat to you all about love hearts. Because quite a few people recently have said to me, what is love hearts? Like, what is it? What do you do? Like, I don't understand what it is, which is cool. So I thought that I would come on here and just explain it a little bit. You went back to work the day you flew home. Oh, no wonder you're shattered. <laughs> that is that is some serious good going. Jet lag is a killer. <laughs> hey, um, so, love hearts, what is it? So, in a nutshell, love hearts is my brand. So, love hearts isn't what I do. It's who I am, so it's me um, as a person. Um, Love Hearts is me, it's my brand, and underneath that, there are different elements to my branding. So, not that I'm comparing myself to Apple here, but just think of like Apple. So they're like the umbrella sort of brand, if you wanna call it. And then within Apple, you have, I don't know, like Apple Music or like iPhone, Apple iPhone, whatever, all those different bits and bobs underneath Apple. So Love Hearts is like that. There's lots of, well not lots of, there's actually three elements to the Love Hearts brand. So how did I come up with it? It took me quite a while actually to come up with the Love Hearts branding. For a while it was make up your mind. I don't know if you remember that, if you've been following me for a while. But that was kind of like, I had to think of a name and it was like a play on words a little bit. I was like, makeup, it's about makeup, but it's also about your development. So make up your mind and it kind of went from there. But it really didn't feel right. And it wasn't until, when was it? Was it the beginning of the year? I can't remember how long ago it was that I changed it to Love Hearts now, but it took some thinking about. So I came up with it by doing a couple of things. Firstly, I did a lot of self-development and I really found out like who I am and what I love. And I kind of knew what I love, but I didn't really, I didn't acknowledge it, I guess. So thanks Bethan, <laughs> I'm not good with stuff like that. With like dates and things, I'm like, I have no idea when it was. So I did things like I gathered like bits and bobs from around my home that I love and I'm like drawn to. So I got like some candles of mine, I got like some tops of mine, different things that I'm like drawn to. And I like put them all in a pile and I got a bit more of a sense of, of what I love really. And it wasn't until then that I realized that I'm a huge fan of geometric prints. And I didn't realise this until I like brought all these things together. So I realised like my lights in my kitchen, I've got geometric prints, my mirror and the lounge is geometric, some notebooks that I've bought, I've got geometric prints, my tablecloth has got geometric prints. All of these sort of things that I didn't even really notice before, but I sort of realised I had a bit of a theme to it. And I also like white. I like clear, white, plain, like, minimalistic sort of stuff with like splashes of colour. I also love pink a lot. Um, so that's that's how I came up with the Love Hearts heart. Um, so it's a pink geometric heart, which I love. 
So that's how I came up with that. And then the love hearts, actual wording itself, is kind of little, it's kind of like about all the stuff that I love, hence the love, and then hearts, I thought because I'm a heartly, it kind of made sense and it all sort of tied in together. So that's where like the name and the actual logo came from. So once I had that, I created the, the design for it. The other thing that I did um, to help me with my branding was I found my why. So if you don't really know what a why is, it's kind of like why you do what you do. And I spent a couple hours over Christmas with my awesome husband, who's a coach. And we really sat down and looked at like what, what I'm good at, what I love and why I do what I do. And after, <laughs> it was quite, it's quite hard actually, I had to really dig deep and it was like really surprisingly, because it was my husband, it was quite awkward at times because you really have to think and your brain's like, oh, it's a real like brain ache. But we came up with it and the statement I came out with in the end was, oh my phone's ringing, it's never important, it's always like, hello, do you have, um, it's like someone from calling about your computer and I always just say, I don't have a computer, hang up. <laughs> anyway, so the statement I came up with was, inspiring confidence in people to pursue what they love and fight through fear with a love hearts mindset. So this came from the fact that growing up and until kind of mm, two years ago really, I did not pursue what I loved. I kind of did what I thought was the right thing to do rather than following my heart more and doing the things that I just made my soul sing. So, um, that came from, yeah, not not doing that, not following what I loved and being fearful and being held back by a lot of stuff and just not um, realising my potential really. So I just, I was held back and I didn't pursue what I loved. So that's where that statement has come from. And that is why I now do what I do. And I'm about to explain to you what I actually do. So I've explained to you what the Love Hearts branding is is and I've explained um, how I came up with it um, but now I'm just kind of gonna say what falls at the moment I'm sure it'll change in future and I'm sure I'll add to it but at the moment Love Hearts does this so one element of it is my love for sharing products makeup products that I love uh, skincare products that I love. I do this through sharing them on my face. <laughs> so like if you've seen my um, Autumn Beauty Trends 2018 post recently, so I, that's one way I do it. I share my love for the products and I, um, I help you guys feel more confident um, through that. So that is one way, so through the unique products and not just unique products, sometimes it's other products, but that's the main thing that I tend to share, that's that's what I sell. So from that element, you can you can buy from me. Um, that is just one side of things. So the second thing is I um, I coach and lead a team of women that want to do the same as me. So they want to build a business. They want to be able to work at home or wherever they are. They want to develop themselves, gain confidence, they want to fight through their fear, um, and I sort of help them with their mindset, that sort of thing. So that's another element. So one element is the like the sharing of the, the products and the makeup I love. The second element is the coaching and leading the team for women who want to build a business and um, pursue what they love um, and work from home. And then the third one at the moment I haven't actually got started yet, but it's in the pipeline and it will be coming soon. So the third part of it is, you might have seen, I've got linked to my page, um, inspired by Love Hearts. So this is gonna be, I'm excited about this. This is gonna be um, a series of framed prints that I will create 
they can be personalised if you want them to or they can be the ones that I sort of show to you as examples and the idea of this is that people can buy these prints for their home, for their work, for their, I don't know, their children's bedrooms, for their kitchens, wherever and the idea is for me to be able to help you feel inspired, feel confident, feel beautiful, feel like you can take on the day, feel like you are enough through in more ways than just one-to-one -one coaching or you know my posts on Facebook but by prints every day when you wake up you will see them so that is the idea it's it's spreading the love as much as I can so I hope that kind of clears things up for you really so so yeah love hearts is me as a brand and underneath that I have you know several elements of my business I hope that answers everybody's questions I've had quite a few messages recently just asking me you know that people are intrigued and so so what is it you do so I hope that hope that is clear does anyone have any questions for me about any elements of the business before I go I'll give it a minute and then if no one's got any questions I will go and leave you all to your evenings hey Jess how are you Oh, thanks, Emily. I've got loads of ideas for the prints and I've got quite a few sort of like drafts, but um, I'm just currently looking at the best way to print them. I tried a few ways and I want them to, I don't want them to look, what's the word? I don't want them to look amateurish. I want them to look really crisp and clean and what's the word I'm searching for? Hmm. I don't know what word I'm thinking of. Just crisp and clean and, uh, can anyone help me out with the word? I'm stuck with the word. I don't know, just look nice. I don't want them to look like tacky. Do you know what I mean? So I'm looking at ways which I can do that to make them look the best possible. So like some could be aimed at kids, some could be aimed at like businesses, you could have up in your office. Professional, thank you Emily. Do you know sometimes when you're like looking for a word and you're like, I just, I just, I'm blank. I have no idea what word I'm trying to search for right now. Thank you, elegant, yeah, all of these words. I want them to look awesome basically. Um, and I'm still thinking about pricing, that sort of thing. But it is in the pipeline. I'm excited, I'm excited to share my, my positivity and, um, inspiration with you oh bless you Jess get an early night get an early night so thanks for joining me this evening I'm gonna go now and um, catch up on a few bits but I'm sure I will speak to you ladies soon if you've got any questions um, and you're watching on replay comment hashtag replay and do drop any questions below I'll be more than happy to help you in the meantime if you want to figure out you know what makeup products are good for you what suits your skin tone what sort of colors you should go for what would um, suit your skin type i'm your girl i can help equally if you're looking for something to do from home if you want to earn an income from home or you fancy a change or you want to gain confidence you want to you know light that fire in your belly again um, I'm your girl and again in future if you're looking for inspirational uh, prints for your home or your office or wherever I'm your girl too so bear me in mind all right ladies take care see you later bye